Hi everybody and welcome back to Enjoy English with Mrs. A. I'm Mrs. A and today we're going to have a look at stages of our lives and stages of a relationship. When speaking about stages of our lives, let's start with infancy. In our infancy, we are babies or infants. This is when we depend on our parents 100% for everything. We cannot do almost anything on our own. After our infancy, we are migrating to our youth. So youth is the period of time when a person is young. So in my youth, it means when I was young or younger, when I was a child. So in your youth, you can be a child, a kid, a youngster, and later on, you will be a teenager. Child and kid are synonyms. So you can say when I was a child or when I was a kid or in my youth. But pay attention here because youth includes teenage. Teenage is the period of time when you are a teenager. And there is a little secret here. Bear with me. You will see that in English, all the numbers starting with 13 and with the suffix teen. Now this happens because from 13 to 19, you are considered a teenager. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. These are your teenage years. Really simple to remember. So when you say two youngsters, Cross the road, you can refer to two teenagers or two kids, somebody who is young. Adulthood is where we spend most of our lives and we start adulthood as a young adult. So when we are young adults, we are maybe from the moment we become of age, for example, if I say I am of age, it means I have the legal age to do something. I am of age to drink. I am of age to drive. This means I have the legal age to do something. And this is normally the moment when you become a young adult. In your 30s, I think it's safe to say that you are an adult. No longer young adult, but a full adult. We spend the longest stage of our lives being adults. Toward the end of our lives, we start getting old and we become seniors. A senior citizen is a citizen, a person who is old enough to retire, let's say. The stage of life when you are an adult starts with young adult, adult, and then you become a senior. Now we're going to move on to the stages of a relationship. And this is quite interesting. We're going to start with singles. Okay. You would say I'm single when you are not in a relationship, when you are not seeing anyone, when you are not romantically involved with anybody. You are single. A single man who has never been married is called a bachelor. Maybe you've read some magazines in English where you heard the term eligible bachelor. Now an eligible bachelor is a single man who everyone is after because he's very interesting, for example. A bachelorette is a woman who has never been married. And if you want to be rude, you're going to call her a spinster. And this is offensive. This is an offensive term because it's derogatory. This makes it sound negative that a woman is not married. So just in case to be safe, use the word bachelorette or simple, a single woman. There's nothing wrong with being single for both men and women. So the word spinster is very offensive for women. Don't call them that even if they're, I don't know, 40, 50, 60 and have never been married. It's a personal choice. Not everyone is compatible with the institution of marriage. You can be single, but dating, you can say I'm dating someone. Now a date is 
A romantic meeting is when two people go to the restaurant or to the movies and they spend this time getting to know each other better. You can be single and date people until you decide to commit. To commit means to decide to be in a relationship. Now, when you're committed to someone or you are in a serious relationship, Normally, this is an exclusive relationship, as in two people are faithful, loyal to each other. They are not dating multiple partners, they are only seeing each other. When two people decide to become exclusive, they decide not to see anyone else, they decide they are romantically compatible, and they begin a relationship. Now, in this stage of a relationship, when somebody asks you, you, you're going to say, well, I have a boyfriend or I have a girlfriend or I'm in a serious relationship. If you do not want to disclose the gender of your partner, you're going to say, I have a partner and partner is very general. So you are letting the other person know that you are in a relationship, but you're not telling them if you're in a relationship with a man or a woman. When you refer to your plus one as my partner, because you're not saying my girlfriend or my boyfriend, you're saying my partner. And this is very general, very important because this is one of the most prolific mistakes for my students. A partner is one person. When you refer to your special someone, you refer to them as my boyfriend, girlfriend, or my partner. My partner is one. A couple means two people. Okay. I have a partner. It means I am in a relationship. I have a girlfriend or a boyfriend. We are a couple. This means we are in a relationship. You never say my couple. Couple always means two people. You say my partner likes strawberries, for example, if you're referring to your plus one. So if you have been in an exclusive relationship for some time and you decide you want to get even more serious about the person you are seeing, then you can get engaged. Now, the engagement is different in every country, but in my country, it happens when one of the two involved in a relationship decides to propose. To propose is when you usually, okay? Times are changing. It's not a rule anymore, but in the past, let's say the proposal was when your partner asked your father for your hand in marriage or your partner presented you with a ring. Nowadays, I think proposals are getting less and less formal. So two people can have a dinner conversation and decide to get married. It's not something so big or so official. Being engaged is that stage of a relationship when there is a promise to get married very soon. So when two people get engaged, it means usually they will get married soon. And when I say soon, I mean at least a year because that's how long it usually takes to prepare a wedding. The moment a man becomes engaged, he is not a boyfriend anymore. He is a fiance. And the moment a woman gets engaged, she becomes the fiance. The way you pronounce these two words is quite similar. The difference is very tiny. So the man is the fiance and the girl is a fiance. The engagement is the period of time between proposal and wedding. And when the wedding day arrives, you get married. You can see that these relationship verbs go with get, get married, get engaged. So when you get married on the day of the wedding, the man is the groom and the girl is the bride. If you have two girls, then you have two brides. If you have two men, you have 
two grooms. After marriage, the man becomes a husband and the woman becomes a wife. Now there is a general term, my spouse. So just like you have partner, when you don't disclose the sex, you can say my spouse. What is interesting here is that during his whole life, a man is Mr. Johnson, for example. If a woman is not married, she's going to be Miss Smith, let's say. But the moment Miss Smith gets married with Mr. Johnson, she is not going to be Miss anymore. She's going to be Mrs. Johnson. As far as I know, in English speaking countries, the woman takes the surname of the man, but there are modern ways to do things nowadays. You can keep your surname, you can hyphenate it. Now, I'm going to imagine Mr. and Mrs. Johnson don't get along very well. They got married, but their relationship is starting to be difficult and they're starting to realize they are not compatible anymore. That is when usually they get separated. When two people are separated, they are legally together, but not romantically involved any longer. So you can be separated, but still married. That means you are legally together, but romantically not. If two people want to get legally separated, then they get divorced. When you get divorced, you are officially legally, romantically separated from your ex. So that is when you speak about your ex-husband or your ex-wife. They are your ex. You are not together anymore. You're not romantically involved. They become your ex. So when two people are together and they break up, when they are boyfriend and girlfriend, you can speak about your ex-girlfriend or your ex-boyfriend. They break up. The breakup is something normal and it can happen when you are not legally binded, legally together. So when two people are boyfriend and girlfriend, they break up when they decide to finish. They can break up and make up. This is when they broke up, but they decided to give each other another chance. But when two people are married, they can get either separated or get divorced. And this is ex-husband, ex-wife. When you get divorced, you become a divorcee. You can see the double E like with employee and trainee. So a divorcee is somebody who is divorced, period. Now let's say you are in a happy relationship, you're married and your partner dies. Unfortunately, sometimes it happens and I'm really sorry if you're watching this and this happened to you. When our partner, our official legal partner has passed away, if you are a woman, you become a widow. And if you are a man, you become a widower. So this is the time when you can say, I am widowed. I'm widowed. I'm a widower or I'm a widow. This means my partner has passed away. I hope you enjoyed the vocabulary lesson today and subscribe to this channel if you like the content. This is going to help me immensely. So if you want to help me, subscribe, like, comment, and also come back next week for a new video. Don't forget that this video was brought to you by enjoyenglish.es, the academy that brings the teacher to you if you live in Pamplona, Saragossa, or Valencia. For the rest of the world, please contact them for online classes. Thank you. Bye.